this way too. Come here. Come here. No. You don't want to say hello to the your crowds of your adoring fans. They would love it. Come here. Come on up. I need free clout on the internet. Hey, come on. Come on. Oh my sweetie. Oh. That's so tentative. So shy. Hey. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's the stuff. What a cutie. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you for the internet points. And the sweet little kiss. Mwah. Right back at you. But okie dokie. With a drink in hand and a, a lovely doggo to keep us company, let's get back into the swing of things for the last little hurrah here and see if we can't make some good progress without getting ourselves killed in the meantime. Which of course we won't because I've never done that before. We feel a wave of frost pass over us, but there's also a warlord here. Oh no. <laughs> hmm. 32 damage. Plus your greatsword. And you can battle cry all of your friends. Plus there's a cyclops. Let's not uh, ignore that son of a gun. Let's not ignore the, the cyclops in the room as it were. Is there any shot of me fighting a warlord? Mm, not feeling so hot on that one. Huh. I might have to just say no to those ice caves, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Ice caves are probably one of my leading areas of death when it comes to timed portals. I feel like that's not just me either, it's a fairly universal experience. Those places are scary, especially when, like our character right now, you have no cold resistance. So, I think we're just going to have to get the heck out of dodge. No thank you. This is not where I parked my car, and we'll just sprint the other direction, shall we? Oh my gosh, this has just been a run filled to the brim with two-headed ogres, though. Are you kidding me? We're almost ready to go back and take on Lair. In fact, I think we are ready for Lair. Oh, I'm not able to wear the hauberk? Why not? Oh, it's because it has a coif on it. No, it includes a hat. Dang you, DCSS. Oh, that would have been so fun. I love this Unrand art. Well, that's a bit of a shame. So it takes up a lot of your armor slots, but it's a lot of AC. And that's a huge bonus early on that could have definitely carried us beyond lair. But hey, it is what it is. Of course we'd find it on Formacid. If we hadn't found it on this Formacid, I'm sure the next most likely thing would be for our uh, our Faelid run to find it, so might as well just take what we can get. I should have known that I was going to get turned to stone there. Let's step back so we get our Spectral Axe. Normally, you never want to fight a Cataclebus in a hallway. That's day one DCSS logic right there. Fortunately is an ant, something that I did not take advantage of when running away from said Cataclebus, is the fact that we can uh, dig into the walls. There's always a wee bit of an escape from the, uh, the smoke there. Ooh, you're gonna deal a lot of damage, my friend. Damn, that's a lot of damage. So let's just acidify you. Fantastic. Deal enough damage, that's not a problem. Ooh, a secret tre of treasure. Plus two shadow dragon scales. That's probably going to be worth it. I'm happy with that. But I think now's the time that we head back upstairs. Question becomes, do I want to deal with some pseudo depths enemies on D7? Or do I just go for Lair and hope that we can face on any Hydras? Or take them on, I should say. And I think it's going to be the Hydra play here. I'm going to turn on Throwing and I'm going to turn on Armor. Armor will train up a decent amount, Throwing the same. And that will give us potentially some option for the future here. Maybe even some evocations just to 
put a, a sprinkling of fun across the whole thing. And not too shabby. Why is drug power? Oh, probably because I'm full health. That's why it's grayed out. That makes a certain amount of sense. Well, let's take me to lair, please, game, if you could be so kind. I'm sure this will go fantastic, just swimmingly, if I had to guess. Um, if I could get a couple of you to come upstairs with me, it would be even better. Break out this this herd a little bit. Just because Blink Frog's not too bad for a character like this specifically, but not exactly ideal either. And we're just hoping no Hydras yet. I'm totally fine to face Hydras in the future, don't get me wrong, but for the time being, I'd like to take it slightly easier, easy, breezy, beautiful, and see how that goes. At least everything else, we should be able to tab our way through without much if, ands, or buts, uh, buts rather, not much ado about nothing. Why, hello there. You only have four heads, so I think this is a good opportunity to try out some of our side methods. Maybe one acid to start it off, you know, get the, the scales softened a little bit on this son of a gun. And then, do I dare resort to throwing? We only have six boomerangs, which is not ideal. Decent amount of damage on those sons of guns. How quickly do we throw them? 1.3. That's not good. <laughs> but we'll see how much damage we can get down in a short amount of time with our boomerangs. Again, the answer is not enough, so we'll just start to back up. Finish you off with some Ice Blast. The old-fashioned Hydra Slayer, as it were. Maybe even one Acid, just to keep things interesting. And with that, we should be good. Okay, so we're not ready to face a Hydra yet, at least not with the, uh... With just ourselves to bring into bear, we'll need another tool or some kind of extra sensibility at our disposal. But I'm sure something will come up. A fire axe would be lovely. I mean, I guess we could risk it all. We could run upstairs, grab this brand weapon scroll, and try it out on a broad axe. Maybe we get fire? Alternatively, I kind of want to wait for just slightly more gold so we can get that acquirement. Oh, it's just on the cusp. You know, it's right there, so close I can taste it. Hi there, eight-headed Hydra. Um, oh my gosh, and just so many friends. Look at all of you just gathering together. What a what a wonderful little party. You know, I wasn't I wasn't sure we were doing a big event here. I thought it was kind of just a chill hangout session, but but I'm cool with that. More the merrier and all that good stuff. In fact, yeah, come on, Drain, if you want to come here, I think that's the Hydra. Why, hello, my Hydra friend. It is indeed you. Everything we hope for for Christmas. Well, we could just launch acid at you until something gives. We could try Power Leap and deal some heavy damage, I guess. Don't know how heavy this damage is, you know? Not a heck of a lot. Especially since it would bring us right next to the Hydra and then we're in trouble. So there is that to, to keep in mind as a point of contention. Hmm. We could just run. We need like a hundred gold before we can afford that acquirement scroll. It's so close, I can taste it. Hmm. Back, what, what are you? Oh my gosh, that's a quarter of the way there, you son of a gun. If I start circling around, I don't think that's a great plan. I was kind of hoping the Hydra wouldn't see us, but they did, so new plan, much like the old plan, we uh, just run the other way. Oh, there's also a seven-headed Hydra. Oh, what fun. Oh, what fun it is to ride. Um, let's see how this, this acid goes, I guess. 
Oh, we can kill one at least. That's that's not the end of the world. Uh, let's blow your mind. 41% chance. That's good enough for me. Do I dare? 40 health, 7 heads. So obviously that's like... 126 damage? Is that correct? Potential damage that is. Not likely with our AC. Fortunately, it's fairly likely that they deal... I guess half probably a quarter is a bit more accurate to uh the general amount of the average amount of damage we take so we could acid 93 percent chance to hit it's not bad not bad i was debating going with the ice blast guaranteed a hit very close to the same amount of damage 46 has slightly lower top end this has lower bottom end but really good potential on the the top there Right, 27 versus 24. Okay, so not that much of a difference if we're being honest, but I th I'm t very tempted to go for it. Maybe I should draw out power and we'll start there. Let's play it a, a wee bit safer, shall we? And then let's go for the ice to just murder you. Fantastic. Never a doubt in my mind. Uh, and more Ice Blast up here is absolutely huge, especially if that's going to be our mainstay for dealing with Hydras moving forward, but... Ring of Int. I'm definitely hoping for some cold resistance at some point. I'm not in a huge rush, don't get me wrong. I'm not being too hasty here, but at some point it might be nice to have around. Until then, we can keep killing these buddies. Spectral Axe is actually a wild weapon. The cleave damage on two of you seems to have a lot of potential for just slaughtering through packs, but that's fine. I feel like if you burn a Hydra, such as with a Wand of Flame, your next attack should be able to cauterize the head. That flavor would be so good. That would be fun, and it puts a bit less onus on, like, if you're melee, get a Flaming Weapon Forehead. Just get Flame Brand, idiot. And instead gives you more of those kind of fun little tricky ways to get yourself out of future problems, which I'm definitely a big fan of. So that would sounds like a really cool idea to me. Ooh, an oppressive heat about me. I think I'm more down for Volcano than I was for Ice Caves. We have fire resistance available to us. Still not going to be a walk in a park, or the park even. Oh, don't get it twisted but I do feel much better about my odds in that scenario at the very least. So before we head in, uh, let's first drop some garbage because I am just filled up to the brim with said garbage. At least one ring of fire. Do I want to wear two going in here? The biggest thing is that 50% reduction right off the bat from getting one pip. We have some Ice Blast charges for fighting fire themed monsters, so that's not bad as well. Hmm. Well, let's see which one we get before... Oh jeez. Oh jeez, everything's breaking. <laughs> I was all tabbed without noticing. Ooh, what... Which one is this? I've gotten so used to either getting Lava Lake or the, uh... Oh, it's, it is Lava Lake still, never mind. <laughs> Ignore me, don't mind me. Uh, but it's always this one or the Collapsing Volcano. I definitely get a decent amount as well. Uh, but let's fight out here so that we get our Spectral Axe. Thick with the Senta. Sulfur. Let's uh, hide in me hole for a little bit. Fortunately, if we start to hear Sulphur while we're out and about, I think we do have the recourse to uh, stay safe there by just tunneling into a wall, so that's kind of nice. Speak of the devil. And... Keep me going, coach. Fire bat, you son of a gun. Fire bats, I didn't know we were playing some StarCraft 2. Boom, boom. Now that is not too bad. I think we can take a Hellhound here, 3d10. Yeah, yeah, it's halved as well. I don't love the Fire Crab coming down this way, but it's still not the end of the world. Let's pop out here so that, again, I get a Spectral Buddy. A lot of these friends will start to surround us, which is a bit less than ideal. 
but if I can just hurt you enough, because 3d20 has a 30 damage top end. Ooh, we also have a sacrifice that I didn't notice. So let's see. Sacrifice your resistance to extreme temperatures. Not now, Rue. Are you kidding me? Sacrifice experience. This is where we go down two levels. Huh. Incredible sacrifice, though, so it brings us up to almost max piety. And artifice. Is this no evocations? Nah. Nah, Rue. Not even for a moment. Think that you, uh, you have me convinced with that one. Okay. I think I'm gonna go with the Acid Blast. Then we can draw it power, and then Acid Blast. Oh gosh, it hurts. Um, you're not even vulnerable to cold, hey kids? Well, how about that? Definitely taking more damage than I care to admit. We're fairly dang close to killing the Hellhog, which is definitely the, uh, the big contender here. How much damage are you doing, my friend? You're actually not exactly small beans either, you know. If I step back, then I dig into here, then I dig into here. I think I'm slightly safer. Quite drained though, don't get me wrong, but still slightly safer. And then what can I do? I could fear scroll if I just want some time. Hmm. That's a bit of a, a tough one for sure. Now's not the time to die, because we're getting pretty close to the end of the evening for me here. We're just here for a good time, not a long time. I think we needed two rings of fire. Uh, indeed, it does seem to be so, hey? <laughs> 20 damage on you. Could swap into another one now, if I'm feeling so bold, but it might be a wee bit late. Ah, let's go for it. No ring of protection for me, dog. At least, because this buddy is blinded, so at least we uh, have that going for us. Am I rejecting or making a selection for Rue? So I don't know if I can afford even the single turn. And more specifically, I don't think I can sacrifice experience while in here, but I'm kind of tempted to do so in general. It's tough, we're still pretty early game, so the experience sacrifice is going to hurt a little bit more than I would like. So do I want to reject? That does become the, the question of the hour, hey? We'll wait to make this decision till after this fight, because we'll see how this goes, I guess. <laughs> um, I would like to confirm, I don't think I've ID'd heal wounds potions, and they're the only common left? The only common left. Which means maybe? Does it take a turn? I thought it did, but maybe not. I'm actually not too sure if there are any Rue experts in chat. The Elf on Sacrifice does take a turn? Good to know. I usually, basically with any action in this game, I've learned from my past mistakes of having optimism and instead I'm just purely pessimistic about it. Always assume the worst, hope for the best, and see what happens. But, we have two of these potions. I mean, there's no shot it's not heal wound right oh or a potion of resistance that's that would have been nice a, a bit ago honestly so now we're more worried about you just biting us hey <laughs> still worried about everything don't get me wrong but that's interesting what are your chances of hitting me 50 50 hmm I could chug curing to get some amount of health back. We just have to basically draw this out until we get rid of exhaustion, and then we could always just go for the uh, draw it power again to uh, get ourselves topped out. Let's see how this goes. One heal wounds. Almost no damage from the fireball, so that's nice. In fact, I th think we just try to kill you. Even you shouldn't be a problem. One point. 1d12 is going to deal almost no damage. Your claw attacks are higher, don't get me wrong. How close am I on that exhaustion? You're also probably fast, right? You're not fast. That's kind of shocking to me. Also, how much damage that did. 
is kind of shocking to me. But we have draw power back. Never didn't have it, of course. And so I think we do just kill you real quick, like. Um, we'll take a bit more drain just to back ourselves into a corner. Against Steam Drakes, I'm not too worried about the damage. Oh, and nice breath of release there. Or of relief, even. And let's see, what the heck were you kids guarding? There's probably something worse yet to bear here, if I had to guess. Just based on how our luck has been going so far this run. Maybe not, though? Dreams do come true. Miracles happen. Blade of Flaming. Chainmail Fire Resistance. I'll take the Chainmail Fire Resistance. We have a lot of willpower going right now, so that's definitely worth the swap. And okay, I mean, I don't think I'm switching to Demon Blade. I'll pick it up for now, see what happens. And then now, we do have to finally make up our mind. What are we doing here? Do we reject these sacrifices? Experience is one of those tough ones where I feel, to me, I would just want to sacrifice experience almost any time because I don't pay a lot of attention to the level ups in this game. But that's where they get you because it is a subtle but very strong effect, especially in terms of your overall max HP. So I might just have to reject sacrifices for now and hope we get something better in the future. I'm sorry, Rue. I, I deeply apologize. But such is just how it's going to have to be. Rue will take longer to evaluate my readiness. Rude, but I get it. I get it. That's, that's honestly my bad at the end of the day. Let's see. Oh, this is not the castle one. How about that? Two max levels just means being more frail. You never liked being frail, you said? No, exactly. Not worth it. For me, at the very least, not at the moment. When we're currently kind of struggling with the majority of encounters we're dealing with at the moment. I'll 